We are with Hofstra head coach Krista Kilburn, Stavetsky. You guys returned three starters this year and an awful lot of talent and an awful lot of depth. You lose Shante Evans, though, who meant so much to your program. She's the school's all-time leading scorer. Has to be difficult to try to replace that much offensive production. A lot of a lot of work to be done in terms of, of duplicating that. Well, certainly it, it, it is, but it's uh, it's fun. It kind of gets back to where a lot more teaching, you know, trying to blend all the players uh, together. But we um, you can't replace just one, and, and Candace Bond obviously is a, was a talented player as well. So it's a it's a culmination of getting everyone to come together, and just really relying on some of the, some of the youth. And um, it's, it's exciting. It's definitely a, a moment of change for sure. And coach, you've said that you get plus eight points on enthusiasm <laughs> alone, right. and with youth comes enthusiasm. <laughs> right. Have you seen that from your young players? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, we're on what fifteenth practice, and you know, it's a different feel than it was having. You know, you have a lot of eagerness. You have a lot of you know kids excited about what's to come, and so it is. I mean, it, it makes it's what makes you actually you know stay in coaching when you have a new crop and you know change is good. And it's difficult to replace though. So let's don't let's don't let's speak realistic. I mean, Shantae Evans and Candace Bond, two stellar young women in our program. But we're gonna have to do it as a group, just not as an individual. How do you mesh molding that right. young group together with the experience they have come back? I mean, Anma Anyuku is. Always played second fiddle to Shante Evans, but she's an awful talented post player. Well, and, and she has the type of mindset, too, that she realizes it, ta it takes everyone. So I think really our team first attitude is what has been our focus of just understanding that, um, really leaving it on the court, really working together, sharing the ball, and, you know, trying to find other ways to, you know, to win the ball game. You know, it doesn't have to, again, just be relying on one person. So I think AO, uh, we call her AO, Anma Nuku, has uh, done a great job not only on the court, but how she's leading the young players, how she is working on this mix between you know blending the old with the new, with the new and that everyone is um going to be counted on i mean that's what I said yesterday in yesterday's practice i looked at every one of you guys you know we can't hide behind anybody now everybody's got to step up and provide and do what they're capable of doing for us to to win games this year what would you say the personality of your team would be <laughs> right now and what would you like for it to be say mid-season well, I'd like for us to keep the chip we have on our shoulder a little bit. We're a feisty group, emotional. Um, Annie Payton is our is our emotional leader. Uh, you know, Andriana Thomas is our floor leader. I mean, she's coming off being 10th in the nation in assists with 6.6. .6. I love that stat line, and I think she's going to give us a little bit more points per game and um, be able to share the ball with her as long as Asia Jackson and Alexis Carter step up as well, too. I mean, those are two key guards that got to produce as sophomores. So, uh, you know, we have a little chip. Uh, we have a little edge, but we don't want to burn out on that. You know, we're not overreacting on one emotional thing. It's a long grind, and I think with a young team having vision and having patience and getting them to realize that, you know, again, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, and because that's where that's where you lose it. You know, you can't get, you know, too high, too low, and you've got to realize it's going to be a process. As much as the kids think their little perception of reality sometimes it's a little off, you know, that it's going to be a grind, and you're going to have to understand how to win these ball games and, and what it takes to win these games, and, and you know, be there in February and March. And but we play a tough non-conference slate you know, to get us ready for the conference. Mm -hmm. It's still early in the process and a lot of preseason camp remaining, but you mentioned how young you guys are as, yeah. as a team. Who are some of the new faces that we can expect to play a prominent role for your team? Yeah, I mean, you know, out of the 13 people, uh, you know, on, in the program, I and mean, there's just a lot of folks stepping up every single day. I mean, we have a lot of energy and enthusiasm out of Ruth Shirell. Um, we have a, another incoming post player. It's a freshman, Elo Edifaroki, um from Nigeria. She played at Life Center. She is just another emotional leader. Deanna Thomas Palmer was um, from Philly, Penn Charter. She'll be back. Sydney Epps. So we have a good mix, you know, the five sophomores we had last year to add a little freshman point guard out of uh, Puerto Rico, Christine, uh, Crystal Luciano, and then a really local kid, Mount Vernon, not too far from Baltimore, uh, Kelly Loftus. She's going to bring a lot of uh, fans down in this area, especially when we get out to uh, the Upper Marlboro for the championship. So we have a good mix, you know, led by, you know, the three upperclassmen. 
Coach, you were talking about a, a challenging non-conference schedule. You play Boston College and Virginia Tech. What do you see from those two teams, and what challenges do they pose? Well, we get, we're going to get exposed early. We open up at Robert Morris, who's a you know perennial pretty good team in their league, and going to the championship. And then we have those two home games back to back. Then we go to Northwestern. Then we you know then we play uh, BC Fordham, and then Northwestern, and then back home up against Virginia Tech. So we are going to be exposed early and tested early and. And, um, you know, and, and hopefully you do what we do to give us a chance to win those games, whether it's multiple of changing things up. And so, that I mean, that's what you do. That's why you play. You know, the last two years, our non-conference schedule was really, really tough. So at least the freshmen last year had one of the toughest schedules. They were exposed to, you know, top-level programs. And then we carried on, you know, this year. So you just want them to be able to see what it takes to get there and that they, you know, what we need to do to be great. Mm -hmm. After head coach, Krista <laughs> good luck. And, and, thank you. And hopefully you can accomplish Appreciate that greatness. It. Yes, thank you.